Hello Sagittarius, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the month of August. Happy August to you. It is August the 1st as I throw these cards. And uh, thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. For those of you who have never been here before, welcome. I hope you will stay. And for those of you who are always here, thank you so much for being in the comments. Your thumbs up matter. You are building this tribe. Thank you for doing that. Um, so in the month of August, we've got a short stack of uh, oracles here. We're going to start with these. We're going to start with the archetypal deck. See what kind of energy you're going to be in for the month, Sagittarius. So moon rising venus and jupiter let's find out what's going on for sagittarius energy what's going on for the month of august sagittarius if you're interested in a reading that is for your own personal energy please understand this is a general reading no decisions should ever be made on a general reading in your life and if you're interested in energy for your own um your own reading please uh look at the pinned comment everything you need to know is there all right tell me what's going on with Sagittarius. What energy is Sagittarius in for the month of August? Oh, the healer. I like it. We've got the healer. It says passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Ability to help transform pain into healing. You, in the month of August, are the alchemist, my friend. For some of you, you will be going through this healing. For others of you, you are the healer. And Understand that you don't have to be a shaman. You don't have to be someone who lays your hands on other people. You don't have to be a doctor or a nurse. Like when you're a healer, sometimes that means that you invite people over. You give them tea. You give them food. You listen to them. You talk to them. You give them advice. I feel like you're that kind of a healer. You are a person who maybe does lay your hands on people. Possibly you are a shaman. But you are somebody who, you know, somebody's got, is laying their hands on, on somebody here. But you might do it in a different way. Maybe you're a massage therapist. Maybe you are someone who's a chiropractor. Maybe you, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you do it in a different way. I feel like you um, heal not only with your hands, but I also feel that you heal other people. You show them how to take what's happened to them that might have caused hardship and how to alchemize that into to transform their pain so they can heal. I kind of love that. It's kind of badassery a little bit. Bottom of the uh, deck, we have uh, Addict. It says, helps you recognize and confront addictive behaviors. So I feel like you've been through this already. I feel like somebody here has been through this addictive behaviors. I feel like you've conquered it, I want to say. And that's why you're the healer. Because you can't be anything, like you can't teach anything that you are not. So I feel like once you got through all of this behavior, these addictive behaviors, you became the healer. Because once you learn how to heal the self, you can then help heal others. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. And Sagittarius, I've always seen you that way, as sort of a, a Florence Nightingale. Someone who is like under the radar, but is always helping people. And it doesn't just uh, end at wherever you perform your healing. It doesn't end there. You're doing it all the time. Feels like you're the, the alchemist, that you have alchemized your own pain into, um, into healing. And uh, I feel like you're teaching others how to repair the self, uh, the mind, the body, and the spirit. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. What else do we need to know about Sag? We do have mental conflict. So I feel like this tells me that maybe you do it too much, that you um, maybe become emotionally or mentally exhausted. That's what it feels like. And when you do that, you don't necessarily trust yourself and the... Um, the decisions that you're making. So be aware that even the Empress um, can get a little bit exhausted because the Empress is everything to everyone. But also, I mean, the Empress um, being all of the queens, right? We have the fertility here. The Empress being all of the queens is also, you know, somebody who is the Queen of Cups, for instance. As long as they have the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Cups um, wisdom, they know that, you know, the Queen of Wands is going to teach the Queen of Cups to drink for themselves first. So they're always they're always going to be replenished here. So I feel like um, instead of uh, that, you're going to get out of this mental conflict here. And I feel like you're going to repair the self by reminding yourself that you are the Empress, uh, feminine or masculine. You are somebody who embodies all of the Queens. And I feel like you've learned these lessons. You've become the Empress because of the healing that you've done. And so I feel that that maybe sometimes you will overextend yourself because you know that other people are in peril and I don't think that you like that but please remember to always replenish the self um, we've got bottom of the the uh, deck is the firm foundation so please keep your foundation firm or you're not going to be of any help or use to others and uh, or yourself by the way make sure that first of all that you are 
that you are taking care of you. We do have healing. Again, look, we've got, look, I am speaking to someone who is probably doing this as a living here. That you might be someone who is who is um, a nurse or a medic, somebody who is um, helping people who are in peril. Um, and you could be doing that physically. You could be a psychologist, a psychiatrist, helping people emotionally. Take it as it, as it, um, as it resonates for you. But I really do feel that you are the healer here. Um, we do have boundaries, but you must have boundaries. And I often wonder about that too. Doctors, nurses, people who are medical staff, right? People who um, get really close to the patients, right? That you have to have these boundaries because you can't take on everybody's stuff. You can't take on everybody's energetic losses. All you can do is heal them or give them the tools to heal themselves. And I feel like you can do that because you are the empress. So I feel like just to be careful that you keep your boundaries this month because I feel like you're going to have lots of opportunities in, in healing. And uh, every time you heal someone else, you're going to have to clean your own energy. That's the way it goes, right? Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. What else do we need to know about August and Sagittarius? We've got friends and colleagues. And we have victim mentality. So this is it. That's what it tells me, that you are healing people, friends, colleagues. Um, you are healing people that are in your vicinity that have some sort of a, a lack of mentality here, a lack mentality. We have a victim mentality. And as we look at this picture, we can see that this person, you know, there's sort of a loosey-goosey tie around, the, around his wrist to the bed. It's like he could take it off. He feels like everything is falling in on him. But, you know, there's a lot of knowledge here. It feels like time's running out. He's a little stressed out. Like it, it feels like um, friends and colleagues, this could be in the workplace, right? Could be your friends, but also your work colleagues can be your friends. So I feel like you are healing everybody all the time. So it is really important for you to be able to heal the self so you can be stable enough to heal other people. Um, we do have transformation here. I feel like it's this whole month for you is going to be transformative because I feel like I am um, connecting with somebody here who is on the honoring path. Somebody who is, I want to say that whatever it is that you do for a living, that you do it um, I would say that you that you are very honorable in the way that you do it, that you are authentically helping people help themselves. I think that's it. And I think that this month is going to be around that. All right. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. What's this? Ooh, towers in the reverse. Look, when the tower comes out in the reverse for me as a reader, it's a warning. It's a warning that something is about to shift or change. Um, there is, is about to be some sort of a shift coming up here. And uh, yeah, I always see that, that um, tower as a warning here. Tell me more about Sagittarius for the first week or week and a half of the month here. We do have the chariot. Yeah, you need to get away from that tower, my friend. I don't think this is a, I think this is a tower that you can definitely get caught up in if you don't leave, if you don't get out of the way. And I know that you are the healer. I know that you want to help people, but you cannot get yourself involved in other people's towers, Sagittarius, because um, when you're trying to save people from the tower here, um, you could the tower could fall on you as well understand right this is a warning for you to get in your chariot and go uh, it feels like with the uh, hanged man energy here that it is uh, this is a perspective that you will have it feels like there is somebody in your immediate family immediate friends people you see all the time a person you see all the time they're about to hit a tower and you need to stay as far away from that tower as you can only because um, that person needs to clear their karma that's why the tower comes right and you you can't run in to save them because they they must know their own karma tell me more about this middle of the month we do have the three of wands at the heart of the matter and we do have the strength card are you waiting on a leo maybe somebody here is waiting on a leo possibly but i feel like uh in the middle of the month it feels like there is uh, somebody that's coming in here, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Leo, possibly. Somebody who is uh, about to arrive here. Somebody who's feeling courageous enough to come see you, to communicate with you. We have the Two of Wands. 
we have the Hierophant and we have the Nine of Cups. Just listening. For some of you, you might know this King of Cups. This is somebody that you might know. This might be the person who is who is about to experience the tower. Now, I feel like if, if this is the person who is about to experience the tower, I feel as though, yeah, it feels as though you must, you must wait. You have to let this person feel this tower energy. The King of Cups is trying to, or maybe it's a Cancer, take it as it resonates for you or Pisces, but it does feel like it's a water sign of some sort, um, that somebody here is trying to avoid change. They're trying to hold off change, sidestep the tower, and I feel like it is somebody who you probably, who's very close to you. I want to say that even though they're close to you, maybe you love them, maybe they are a, a, somebody who's in your family, family. maybe this is um, a father, Maybe this is an older brother, um, sister, mother. Take it as it resonates for you, feminine or masculine. Um, it feels almost like you you need to step out of the way and let the tower fall. Um, this person need, has a lesson that they need to learn. I think that you know that the tower is coming, Sag. I think that you know it. I think you're already in the chariot, honestly, to, at the beginning of the month here. And that you are you need to sacrifice the situation because I feel like it, it has nothing to do with you and I feel like this person needs to feel feel the change, feel the shift, the upheaval. I feel like you need to have the courage to, to wait, to wait, to get in your chariot, to go and to wait for the tower to fall. I think that you know it's gonna fall but you're waiting for this person to call you and say, how do I heal myself? The tower has fallen here. At the end of the month, it feels like here that you are at the crossroads preparing for something. Preparing for, maybe you're going back to school, maybe you're going back to church, maybe you're learning a lesson from somebody who has more spiritual knowledge than you, and I feel like you are, it, it is going to bring you some joy. It's going to bring you wish fulfillment and happiness here. I feel by holding back and not getting involved in this person's life who's going to have the, the tower fall, I feel like I feel like that's the lesson that you need to learn here because I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who wants to just run in and save everybody. And if you keep running in and saving people from their karma, they're not learning their lessons, which means they keep getting tower after tower after tower. They keep going through this lesson over and over. You understand, right? You keep If you keep trying to save them, they don't learn the lesson and then the universe gets really tough with them. So let them go through their tower. We do have the devil in the, in the distance here. Uh, we do have the Three of Cups with the Devil. It seems to me that, um, yeah, it might be excessive partying, excessive celebration that leaves somebody stuck here. It might be a member of your family. All right, let's clarify a little bit. Find out what's going on here. Tell me what's going on with this tower in reverse, please. For Sagittarius, what's going on? This tower in reverse. I don't think this this tower is yours, but I really do feel like it's uh, the tower is about to fall on somebody that you really that you really care for, that you really love. Tell me more. Oh, okay, we've got something that's buckled here. We've got the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. me more. This deck is so small it's hard to handle. Hang on. There we go. We've got the judgment card and we've got the six of wands. So what I want to say about this is is that this tower that is going to fall, who I believe is, is going to fall possibly on someone who's a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This is someone that you know, could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus. I feel like um, the reason that it's falling is because this person needs to learn how to be more vulnerable. 
Whatever they're doing with their life, Sagittarius, is that they're shut off and shut down. They're miserly and they don't share. They don't know how to share their feelings. They don't know how to share emotions. They don't know how to share their money. They just don't know how to share. And I feel like the King of Cups is somebody who is very stoic, right? Now this person, of course, they've got their emotions in check. But this person, I feel, is somebody who needs to learn about the pentacle world. And I feel like this decision here, we've got the, the judgment call. Um, we've got the universe is calling this person, has been telling this person already. Look, we get the whisper first, right? The universe whispers at us and says, hey, psst, <laughs> it's time to do something about this. And if we ignore it, then it gets a little louder. And if we ignore it again, then the tower shows up and says, you're on the wrong path. We need to get you on the right path. I feel that the judgment card is telling me that someone has already been called to change, to, to, to do something new, to get out of a situation, to try something new, to, you know, it feels like this person here with the four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here, it's the five pentacles, somebody who's detached from their feelings, detached from the 3D. It feels like they've already gotten some warnings that they need to clean it up, I want to say. They are going to have victory on the other side of this tower, but I think it's going to be really hard for you to hold back and to not help this person out of their situation. All you can do is sort of look at it from a perspective. I feel like this person is going through some sort of a sacrifice. There's going to be a big sacrifice here that they're going to have to make in order to be able to get through this tower energy. We've got the five of cups in the reverse. We've got the ace of swords in the reverse. We've got the five of pentacles here. So it, it does feel to me like somebody here is needing to see a different perspective on something. Somebody here is shut off and shut down. I feel like it's the king of cups. Somebody who uh, is, um, you know, it's like, hello, <laughs> like this person doesn't flinch. They never flinch. It feels like they need to be more into their emotions. They need to be more feeling. They need to stop keeping it under the surface. And I want to say that this, whatever it is that's coming up here, the sacrifice that they're going to have to make is the detachment. I feel that this person, I feel the reason that they are detached is because something may have happened in the past, like way back in the past when they were a child, and it made them stuck in this immature energy. This, this energy of... Um, of not being very clear, not being very honest, muddying the waters. I feel like I feel like this person is somebody who is not necessarily happy and has a lot of regrets. I feel like they don't want to have any regrets. I feel like when the tower falls, things are going to change for this person. Why do we need to know this about the King of Cups, please? I feel like it's going to affect you because you're the healer. Yeah, this is somebody that you really love. We've got the Three of Wands and we have the Two of Cups. This could be a, a romantic partner for you, um, but this could also be uh, somebody who I said is like a, a mother or a father possibly. Uh, we do have the Ace of Cups. I feel like it's romantic love here. This is somebody here that you're interested in romantically. You could be dating them. You don't have to be. And I feel like that this person may, may have moved on from you, but they're about to get some sort of a breakthrough here that they have to sacrifice whatever they're doing that is obsessive here. We have the devil here. The devil's shown up here. The King of Cups is doing something that is obsessive here. And I feel like it's something that's hurting them spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever it is that they're doing. They could be caught in a thought pattern. I don't know what it is, but I feel like they have to move away from that. And, you know, the King of Cups is Scorpio. Scorpio energy can be pretty stubborn. It is a, a fixed energy. And this person is somebody who never lets anybody see what's getting their goat, right? <laughs> never lets anybody see it on the surface. I feel like this person is also somebody who doesn't really show their feelings. I feel like this is someone who really loves you could be, like I said, a parent, or it could be someone that you're in love with, right? Romantic love that has never shown you their feelings. I feel like this tower is coming for this person because it's really important that they have this, this breakthrough in order to be able to live their life in a better way. I feel like you're the person who's standing on the sidelines as the healer, waiting for this tower to fall. I feel like you get in your chariot and you go, you let this person deal with the tower, and then you come in and show them how to heal themselves. I love that. Tell me about the three of wands, please. What are we waiting for here? I, I got that song, John Mayer, Waiting on the World to Change. Look at this. We've got change. The devil, uh, sorry, not the devil, but the, the death card has popped out here. Uh, one more. One more for Sag. Oh, we've got way more than one. All right, but we'll look at them anyway. So we've got uh, the death card here. No more waiting. 
what are we not waiting on anymore? We've got um, the King of Pentacles. We've got the High Priestess in the reverse. Very interesting. Something is going to be revealed to you in the month of August here. Something you've been waiting on in terms of finances. There is something that's ending. And I feel like uh, something in terms of finances is going to pay out to you. It's going to be revealed to you with the High Priestess energy. Somebody's going to contact you and tell you about some sort of an abundance that's coming to you here. We do have the um, Knight of Cups in the reverse. We do have the Four of Cups in the reverse. And we do have the, the King of Wands in the reverse. I feel like you've been waiting on something, not taking action, holding back and waiting on something. The uh, Four of Cups in the reverse is telling me that you're reconnecting with, with somebody that you haven't spoken with in a long time. They could be an old uh, a person who you used to have feelings for right? King of Cups, right? It could be somebody that is reaching out to you because they know that you're the compassionate healer. Somebody who's gone through it, a major change or a tower here. We do have the Knight of Wands in the reverse and we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you don't know what to do. You just stop. I'm not sure if I should put energy into this. Should I really, should I bail this person out? I feel like you're going to be stuck with this, this dilemma here this month that is going to say it's time for you to make a decision about what you're going to do. Are you going to hold back? Or are you going to rush in and you're going to fix things for somebody here? Um, because if you fix it for them, I feel like it's, it's a lesson that goes unlearned and it will happen to them again. Um, so that's, that's really the, the hard part about helping people out of their their tough spot helping people out of um, things that are going on in their life is that they're just going to have to go through it again until they realize the lesson the universe is going to keep is going to keep coming in and throwing a tower until they realize the lesson okay so i feel like this is someone who's a soulmate a soulmate friend it could be a parent it could be a brother or a sister like i said um but uh because we have the queen of cups here now right you are the kind loving compassionate person but you're going to hold yourself back here and you're barely going to stay in balance things got to change sag i want to say that you're the person who's always trying to save everybody you need to stop doing that the wheel of fortune is here saying things must change you must expand and move into the future and if people come to you and ask you for help then you can give them advice about how to help themselves but you cannot fix it for them you are the fixer you're always trying to give people advice oh but but you, but you can get around this by doing that like you're the person who's always telling people how they can fix it how they can do it where they can get a resource and I feel like you need to hold back from that and that's going to be really hard for you but I feel like it's going to give you expansion I feel that when things change you get your stability and this person is going to know that you still love them even though you're holding back and trying to be courageous they're going to know that you still love them but that you're going to let them figure it out on their own but by only giving them advice from a distance i feel like you're supposed to do that all right it's coming up at the end of the month why is the two of wands here tell me about sag why is the two of wands here what is sag supposed to be preparing for prepare for something that's incoming here we've got the knight of swords what's incoming for sag we've got the empress energy interesting what else and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Look, you know what? I really feel like this this here that's going on in the middle of the month levels you up, Sag. Because we have um, we have the uh, Knight of Swords coming at the Empress. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you need to prepare. Um, because I feel like whatever lesson... It's like you're learning a lesson off the back of someone who's going through a lesson, <laughs> I want to say. And you need to be prepared because I feel like this is a lesson that is something that you are going to teach your posterity. I also feel like you need to prepare for some sort of an influx of money. It feels like that there is going to be some sort of an influx of money. Somebody sees that you're the empress. Someone sees your worth. And I feel like you're going to get news or communication about some sort of payout whatever that might look like for you it might be legal it doesn't have to be but it feels like it could be a family investment or it could be that you're getting some sort of a what do you call that when someone passes away and you get money i'm not saying someone's going to pass away if someone has it's already been in the past you might be receiving some sort of big chunk of change here could be at your work um could be a promotion take it as it resonates tell me why the hierophant is here 
I'm doing the Hierophants here. We do have the Eight of Swords. I feel like you were having a hard time learning the lesson about not go running in and saving people. I think that um, you finally are learning that lesson. The Eight of Cups is here. You finally detached from the place of, you know what, they got to learn their lesson. I just got to keep moving here. Um, we do have the Five of Swords. Yeah, you're not happy about it. And I think the people aren't happy with you. It's like you you can run in and save them, but I feel like the lesson that's supposed to be learned here is the is detachment. Look, detachment is a thing. It's a really healthy thing that you must detach from people around you because you can't you can't be living in their drama. And I feel like it's very um, it's like you always want to run in there and cure things, help things. And I feel like this is a lesson that you're supposed to learn. And look, some people aren't going to be happy with you because it's going to conflict with their beliefs. Then, Sag, you bailed me out last time. Why aren't you bailing me out this time? I feel like you end up in this happy energy here. That you, This is a wish fulfilled here that you learn this this lesson. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, please. I don't think you're sad at the end of the month at all. We've got you on a brand new path and getting some clarity. And we have the Two of Wands. So I feel like you need to prepare to get some clarity about what really does make you happy. We have the, the Page of Wands here, which tells me it puts you on a brand new path. And so I feel like you do get through this lesson, but I feel like it's it's going to be really hard to learn. That's what it feels like here. So I feel like there is an upset coming to someone else, someone that you really love, and your test. I feel like your lesson is to pull back detach. And I don't mean detach from them and say, oh, I don't know, whatever. It's going on with you. It's going on with you. That's not what I mean. I mean, stop yourself from running in and fixing it. Because this person, if they don't learn this lesson, they're going to be hit by the tower over and over and over again, because lessons will always come back until we learn them. Bottom of the deck tells me the Ace of Pentacles is here. It feels like you are going to be rewarded here. Uh, we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the King of uh, Swords with the uh, the Queen of Wands. I feel like there is um, fast moving energy with someone who is making the better, the best decision for everyone involved here. This person here could be um, experiencing a financial impact. It could be that and you want to save them by giving them money, paying their mortgage, you know, whatever it is. I feel like it's, it's a lesson that you have to learn. And um, this Ace of Pentacles is telling me that a gift is going to be given to you from the universe. I think the gift is this message that you're going to, this lesson that you're going to learn here. Yeah, I feel like you're feeling some type of way about it, though. But it's going to, I feel like that's going to happen at the end of the month. Look, you have people around you that are in victim mentality, friends and colleagues. And I feel like this is probably one of those people. You're the healer and they know that you're the one that always comes in and fixes everything for everyone. The reason that we've got the two of swords here is because you're going to be in this blocked energy of, oh, I want to do it. I got to go do it. But you can't. You cannot. Because the Empress cannot sacrifice herself that way. She knows the lessons. And if you really do know the lessons, you will let this person get through their turmoil on their own. Everything has to change. The Wheel of Fortune is here. And it's for your expansion. This is happening as a test for you as well as it's happening for them. And I feel like it's for your expansion. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do, ex uh, I do appreciate you, Sag. I'm out for now. Love you guys. I'm out for now. But I'll be back because I'm always back. Bye-bye.